According to one analyst on Wall Street, Rivian has 100% upside from current levels. Now, I did a video some weeks back on Rivian, and I said Rivian was heading to five dollars. Seemed crazy at first, but now that price has broken down from this range-bound price action, you know the probability of hitting five dollars increases after every week. Now, before we look at the charts. Let's look at this article. So Rivian stock, like most stocks, got rocked on Wednesday after higher than expected inflation data dash investors' hopes for a series of Federal Reserve rate cuts in 2024. Now, as interest rates go up, uh, the cost of capital increases, and over the last 18 and to 24 months that has put a dampen on um, demand for uh, discretionary items um, including EVs. Nevertheless according to Bank of America uh, one analyst thinks that one should not be worried. So inflation or no inflation rate cuts or no interest rate cuts for every stock price will more than double and hit $21 a share within a year according to their analysts. Now, the gentleman's name is John Murphy. He says investors are focusing on car buying demand for EVs, so it makes sense to de to say demand is important for Rivian. Last year, after all, Rivian produced 57,000 electric trucks, but demand for them was so weak that it was only able to deliver 50,000 of them to willing buyers. Now, longer term, no. He thinks Rivian's ability to produce, in particular its ability to produce its new R2 and R3 electric SUVs is a bigger factor in whether Rivian stock will double. Why? Well, the reason is that producing and trying to sell only R1T electric trucks and R1S electric SUVs is costing Rivian nearly $6 billion a year in cash burn, but Rivian only has about $9.4 billion in the bank. So unless Rivian succeeds in getting R2, production started within the next 18 months or so, Rivian will run out of cash and need to find more to complete its projects. And so if they need more cash, they will need more cash. They're going to go to the markets. They will go to the markets. And that's going to dilute current shareholder value. And what that means, that's going to put pressure, downward pressure on the stock. So um, here was the setup that I was looking for. Um, this was on earnings. You had this drop in price, basing candles at a level of interest where that was support or resistance in the past. And then you had the sellers just trash through this band. Um, now I was expecting price to pull back. And so you know that there's downward pressure when price could not even get even close to this weekly sellers of our $16. And as you can see last week, price broke out of this sideways price action. I'm going to keep that there because on the daily chart that was just a false breakout to the upside. Um, and last week that was on above average um, volume. So this is meaningful. Um, now whether we get to $5 or not remains to be seen, but that's the target that I have until price action shows me otherwise. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.